Wind weather observation two zero zero nine er Zulu. Wind three one zero at one seven. Peak gusts two three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition broken three thousand five hundred. Temperature minus zero one Celsius. Dew point minus zero eight Celsius. Altimeter three zero two three. Remarks. Density altitude minus one thousand two hundred. Afternoon, clearance. Flight of Snyder to one November Golf on the ground at Goshen. Request IFR to uh, Milwaukee. Flight of Snyder to one November Golf. Stop in clearance for Leary. Hope for release at the Goshen Airport. Uh, would you like to fly over the water at four thousand or around the uh, around the land high and fast? Uh, how high would we have to go to uh, to go over the water and uh, go high? Flight of November Golf. If you go over the water, you got to be at four thousand. They probably can keep you high for a little bit, and then they're going to drop you down to 4,000 around the Misky, um, the Mix, and Musky intersection area. And uh, what's the what's the route to go around? Is it uh, Joliet and then um, uh, DuPage? As well as one of them, we'll confirm it. It'll be the map intersection, see it's on Joliet, DuPage, correct? Yeah, let's go over the water at four. If a lot of one of golf, you're clear to the Milwaukee Airport uh, via the uh, Muskie intersection, uh, uh, direct the Deer intersection, direct uh, maintain 3,000, uh, expect 4,000, 0 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 132.05, clock 4311, verify hold for release and say departure runway. 921 November Golf cleared to executive uh, via Muskie, Deer, then direct. Climb maintain 3,000, expect 4,000, 10 minutes. Departure 3205, squawk 4311. I'm holding for release and we'll be using uh, 27 here. Plus one November call. Roger, reback break. Stop on all cylinders 3026. Just let me know when you're number one ready for departure. I'll let you know on November call. Alright, so cleared as we filed. Musky deer, then direct. We're going to go only to 4,000 instead of 10,000. Got 3205 uh, set for departure frequency and transponder set 4311. Okay, brakes work. Beta works. Goshen traffic, Plata Snyder to 1 November Golf, taxi runway 27, Goshen. Alright, we can do the shaker test. Brakes on my side. Shakes on the co pilot side. Shakes on both sides and pushes. Interrupt it, make sure all the clutches are free. All right, so today we're just got a quick flight up to uh, Chicago Executive, Papa Whiskey Kilo. And uh, we'd filed musky deer direct at 10,000, but um, I guess you can't go that high. Thought maybe you could go that high, but so we gotta go down at 4,000. And uh, actually isn't that bad um, with the winds. It doesn't turn out to be that much of a penalty for this flight. Clarence Plata, Niner 2 one November Golf for number one, ready for departure, runway 27 at Goshen. Last one, November Golf, Roger, stand by. All right, we'll do our pre-departure flow here. Uh, bat, I fly, flaps and trims, and uh, flight director. Flight director's on, and in, or I'm sorry, yeah, flight director is in go-around mode. And in heading mode, we've got, uh, set our heading, runway heading at 270. Flight 921 November Golf with Inner Control Airspace, fly heading 300, you release for departure at the Goshen Airport, good day. Heading 300, release for departure off Goshen 921 November Golf, good day. Okay, so we've got, um, the flight director in go-around and heading mode, we have 300 set there. Altitude initially is 3,000. Got 3,000 set. And we've got flaps and trims are all good. Ice protection coming on. And we've got flight idle to go. Got lights on and yaw damp off. 
Goshen traffic, plot of slander 21 November Golf, departing runway 27, Goshen. All right, so our calculated uh, takeoff distance today, we should have a ground roll of about 1,100, 1,200 feet. And that was no wind situation, so we'll probably actually be under a thousand. All right, condition lever to flight idle. Pass is clear. Right crosswind. Power up. Here we go. All right, power set. Airspeed's coming alive. Holding center line. Eighty knots. Right at a thousand feet. Positive rate, we'll step on the brakes, stop the wheels, bring the gear up. We're at 100 knots, we can bring the flaps up. And yaw damp can come on, tax and landing lights can come off. And yeah, we're at least 400 feet. Make our turn. Goshen traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, departing the area to the uh, northwest, Goshen. A little bit bumpy with this wind today. Thousand go. Plus up then, flight of standard to one November Golf off Goshen, 2300, climbing 3000, heading 300. But uh, plot is 9 or 2 of one November Golf, south and departure, IDENT, climb maintain 4000. IDENT, climb maintain 4000, 9 to one November Golf. Plus one of them golf radar contact one mile northwest of the uh, Goshen Airport. Proceed direct to Muskie. Direct to Muskie, nine or two one November golf. No one by Yankee, uh, south and departure Ident. All right, we've got direct Muskie set in there. Set our heading bug to the Never course heading. Yankee, and we'll set one mile west of the uh, now, on the flight director. I maintain three thousand. Continue on that present heading. Okay, and you're at four thousand. Alright, we're turning on pilot on. Uh, pause discretion descent, uh, maintain 2,600. Pause discretion 2,600. Make sure we got all these things with our flows. Left heading 180. Ice protection is good. We got probes, windshields on low, our inertial separator open. Autopilot as required. It's on. Power control lever as required. It's We're kind of flowing, flying a little bit slower because of the turbulence. And ACS lead air switches to auto. Cabin pressure is good, or 1.48 uh, differential, and uh, we're well within the max temperature and pressure limits. It's been pretty bumpy, but I think as soon as we get over the lake, it'll uh, calm down a little bit. Well guys, it's still kind of bumpy, wondering now if I made a mistake. Obviously this is not unsafe and safety always trumps passenger comfort, but I'm wondering if I had gone the higher route down to the south and around Chicago if it would have been uh, less turbulent. Alright, we're now 50 miles out. Uh, we should be able to get to Ada, so I'll go ahead and see if we can pick that up. Inspiration to India. In Cherokee 79 or Juliet, say again, request. Pacific Airport, Inspiration to India. 1905 to Zulu, weather observation. Juliet, climb the main point, VFR, and above 3,500 to Niner. Can we expect lower from the port? What's your clear south bend airspace? Alright, try again. Pacific Airport, Inspiration to India. 1905 to Zulu, weather observation. Wind 320 at Niner, disability 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 1, 2.11, altimeter 3029. RNAV runway 16 approach in use, landing and departing, runway 34 and runway 30. 
IFR arrivals unable to cancel IFR to circle. Advise Chicago approach on initial contact. Earth Airman, runway 16 EMAS reduced performance. X way Bravo hold short, runway 24 sign is missing. Advise on initial contact, you have information to India. Okay, we're making the turn from uh, Muskie towards Deer here. Departure, and we've got India over at Chicago Executive. Wind is 320 at 9. And uh, good visibility, 10 miles, clear skies, temperature 1. And uh, the approach they're using is the RNAV 1 6. Um, this airport only has approaches to runway 1 6. The reason they don't have any. To uh, three four, four thousand nine airport at your is because O'Hare is in the way. So when you take off one six, you actually have to turn within a a mile of the runway. Four thousand nine, Roger. Clear visual approach runway two seven left. Contact tower one three five. So you don't run into O'Hare's airspace. And when you're doing IFR well, stuff, you can't land. Contact Chicago approach one two zero point five five. Chicago one two zero point five five one November call. See ya. Hello, Chicago, Pilatus 9 to 1 November Golf, 4000 with India at Executive. Pilatus 9 to 1 November Golf, Chicago Approach, expect the RNAV runway 16, cancel circle 34. I'll plan on that 1 November Golf. November Golf, proceed direct Haigu, expect vectors out of the final. If you see the airport in the meantime, just advise. Direct to Haigu and I'll expect vectors on the final. I'll let you know if I see the airport 1 November Golf. Okay, so we need to set that up. We're gonna have one six, and uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the chart here. I go. I guess we can go for many of those. So we'll just go Pappy since that's on our side. Insert there. And uh, let's see. I go and hold. Twenty five hundred. Then Chico at or above 2300, and uh, the missed approach, run, uh, missed approach point, runway 16 there at 700, and missed approach procedure is climb to 1200, and then a left climbing turn, correct to deer, and hold at 2100. That looks good. Activate, we're cleared direct to high gear, so we'll go over to high gear. And go direct to activate. Hide the flight management window. And that was almost our heading up already. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the uh, if you uh, have to land in IMC. And the run, winds are from the north, and you have to circle around and land on 3-4. This is not an airport you can get into if the winds are strong, too strong from the north, and uh, low clouds. Looks like it might be a little hazy and hard to see the airport. So we'll probably end up flying the approach and then making a circle to land the opposite direction. Approach frequency on the plate is what we're already on, so we're not going to plan on switching again to a different approach control. So we'll go ahead and put tower in the standby in 19.9 and put ground control 21.7 on number 2. My preference for setting up radios is to use air frequencies in COM1 and ground frequencies in COM2. You know, it's kind of a preference thing, um, but whatever system you like and works for you, that's what I would go with. Um, for me, it makes sense. You know, COM1 is always in the air, so that's uh, power. 1 November Golf, send me 3,000. 3,000, 1 November Golf. Okay, 3,000, we'll set vertical speed to start a descent. And uh, 3,000 is armed. Descent is initiated. Yeah, so I like COM1 for any uh, flying frequencies and COM2 for taxi or weather or ground communications, like if I'm going to talk to an FBO or something like that. So 
Com 1 would be reserved for power and approach, center, that sort of thing. And so that procedure allows me to have all the frequencies I needed. Uh, like for departure, I can have ATIS in there, listen to that, flop over to ground. And then I've got power and departure already in COM1. I don't have to be tuning any frequencies. If I need to go back and double check the winds or something, or an altimeter setting or something like that, I can do that really quick and easy. And then the same thing when I land. I don't have to tune another frequency if I have uh, ground already on COM2. I've been to this airport lots of times. We fly in here fairly regularly and you know, even though I'm very familiar with the area and coming at it from this angle, it's always really hard to see. It's kind of nestled out in there in the uh, trees in the city. Um, and today with the, with the little bit of haze and the sun, I think it's going to be kind of hard to see. 1 November Golf, to maintain 2,500. 2,500, 1 November Golf. Well, you guys probably can't see this, but looking uh, south, like out over my left wing, it looks a little bit hazy. Um, but you look to the north off the right, and it looks extremely clear. A lot of difference it makes when you're looking into the sun versus away from it. All right, we're going to start slowing down a little bit. One November Golf, turn left heading 270. Left heading 270, 92 one November Golf. All right, so now we're getting vectors. Go ahead and uh, activate the leg from high U. To Chico. Got about 15 psi of torque set up for this approach. And I do have the runway inside over there, over the left wing. 1 November Golf, turn left, hitting 190 and uh, join the final approach course. 190 to join final approach course, 921 November Golf. Alright, we got 190 set on the heading bug. Autopilot will fly that. One November Golf, four miles from Chico, maintain 2,500. I'll establish final approach towards third RNAV runway 16 approach. 2,500 until established, cleared RNAV 16 approach. One November Golf. One November Golf, kind of executive tower 119 or point nine. To the tower 199, one November Golf. All right, autopilot's off. Going over to tower. Low tower, Pilatus standard to one November Golf. Uh, RNAV 16. Uh, Fox, that Roger. Echo. All right, we're below 165, go ahead and put in first 15 degrees of flaps. Uh, Echo. Echo Bravo, cross on 824, that's from Fox Trot. Let us send it to 1 November Golf, Executive Tower, wind is 340 at 13. Just advise canceling IFR, try to circle your choice on the downwind for runway 34. Okay, we'll plan on circling uh, for a left downwind and we'll let you know when we start our circle 1 November Golf. Alright, we'll go ahead and go gear down, we're below 180. Got gear down and lock, 3 greens. We're not cleared to land yet. Cleared for the approach. Airport elevation is 647, so we'll use the 2100 or 2200 for our pattern altitude. And here we are. Tower 9 to 1 November Golf, we're circling for a left downwind 3 4. Well, this 1 November Golf, Roger. And are you able to cancel that part this time? Yes, sir, we can cancel. Oh, this one over golf. Cancellation received. Remain on the same code. Runway 34, clear to land. All right, we'll keep the code and runway 34, clear to land. 9 to 1 November Golf. And plus one November Golf, where's parking uh, today? We'll be going to Atlantic, one November Golf. Atlantic, thank you. Turn the flight director off since I'm not using it. All right, we're we'll being the numbers there. Can't fly too wide of a pattern. 
Come back to about 10 PSI on the torque, put in 30 degrees of flaps, and turn base. 30 is selected and indicated, we are cleared to land. Gear is down and locked, we, got, we do have three grains. Wind 340 at 1-3. Alright, the wind is right down the runway at 13 knots, turn final. Wait until short final, turn the odd amp off. 500. 500. And we'll start slowing down DSB here. Runway three four a kilo pop a whiskey kilo. Warning. Airport. Got him off. Poor flight doesn't know about where we're going. Do have three greens cleared to land. We're down, we'll do ground idle on the flight, or the condition lever. Yeah, we'll go into beta mode. Let us one November go up, turn left at Lima 2, and that'll take you right into the ramp this frequency. Lima 2, Lima 2 into the long ramp, and we'll stay here one November go. There's the marshaller. Go ahead and turn the light off. And we'll set the brakes. That was a real short taxi, so I'm just going to give it just a few seconds here before I shut it down.